Right, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So uh, I'm here with uh, Philip, uh, a, for, a colleague driver of a Model S. Uh, and uh, what are we doing today, Philip? We're going to test the Autopilot 1. See if it's, yeah. um, how it stacks against Autopilot 2. Yeah, so on my uh, road trips and on my uh, testing route, I've always been saying that Autopilot 1 is still better. So today we're going to test it. So, uh, let's go. Yeah, come on. Okay, so the first thing we are doing is seeing whether the Autopilot 1 also adjusts to the uh, 50 km an hour speed limit, which is coming up on the white sign on the right. So Autopilot 2 is doing that based on GPS. And we're seeing that the limit is also being applied by Autopilot 1, uh, which is stopping gradually or decreasing gradually, which is uh, just fine. Now we're at the uh, first hill crest where uh, Autopilot 2 used to veer to the right, which is now fixed in the last few updates. And uh, let's see if the car will actually automatically go to 70 kilometers an hour first. Yep, so it's accelerating. That's also good. And now we're seeing whether or not it's going to veer off, yes or no. One be mark, it's in chill mode. Yeah, it's no problem. Oh, it's, it's doing okay, but it is showing the lines kind of yes, no, yes, no. Yes. Same here. With Autopilot 2, we'll see that when we compare that in our later run. The, uh, at that point, actually the line goes wider and it narrows as the uh, lane also narrows. So it keeps detecting the lanes better than Autopilot 1. Same here, still going straight on, so no issues. And I would say this is on par with the behavior of Autopilot 2. Now the next bit is where it loses the lanes on the right or the line markers on the right and uh, with autopilot it used to shift a little bit but that is going dead straight. Yep, autopilot one is also going dead straight. So again, on par for this situation. Excellent. So one of the uh, bigger differences uh, with autopilot one uh, versus Autopilot 2 is that Autopilot 1 is capable of doing a lane change on this road. So you're seeing the lane marking uh, or a secondary lane to the left. And if I go to the left, then it will execute an auto lane change. Uh, I had to interrupt there, of course, because <laughs> I want to go back. But um, Autopilot 2 is not capable of doing that on uh, secondary roads. It's only doing that on highways. So that's a big difference and one of the reasons why Autopilot 1 is still better than Autopilot 2. So now we're coming up to the dreaded S-curve with the tight right and left turn. Autopilot 2 is going over the lines lately. Let's see what Autopilot 1 is doing and how trustworthy it is. Here we go. It's decelerating on its own, but it is keeping itself within the lines. So yeah, this is what I expect from Autopilot 2 to do as well. Same here, accelerating because it's not so tight a turn. It is keeping itself just within the lines. It's not that centered, but it is a lot more trustworthy than what uh, Autopilot 2 is capable of doing at the moment. Okay, here we have a car in front of me, which I want to overtake. Now let's wait until the other car has passed and let's see how quickly it accelerates to overtake that car so I leave enough room want to go to 120 it immediately starts accelerating to do the overtake which autopilot 2 does not it stays at the same speed until it gets into the next lane a uh, bit of a safety margin as to not uh, bump into the car in front of you yep. and then it starts accelerating but Actually, this is the behavior that I would like to see because you're overtaking, you want to speed up immediately. Indeed. Excellent. 
up ahead there's this uh, lane shift which is causing me headaches because autopilot is clipping corners there let's see what autopilot one is doing hold the wheel hold the wheel yeah definitely <laughs> Okay, it's not taking that. That's it's definitely not taking that. That's what that's what I wanted to tell you about. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's scary. So yeah, in that uh, situation, Autopilot 2 is definitely a lot better. Uh, <laughs> all right. You were scared, right? Be still my beating heart. <laughs> it's not my car, so it's his car. Um, so yeah, that's why he's a bit scared uh, uh, to be driving that. But, but I, I anyway. Knew, I knew what was going to happen. I, I, yeah. I knew it. So two more things I'd like to mention. One is what you saw on the highway is that uh, Autopilot 1 does show the cars in the other lane and it makes a distinction between cars and bikes and trucks. And another one I'm going to show here is that on the right you see that speed limit sign for a zone 30. And uh, this is something that Autopilot 2 does not recognize. And here we go because Autopilot 1 is reading the speed limit, uh, the speed limit sign it actually uh, can handle that. Um, however, and unfortunately the truck is a bit in the way, but let's go slow enough. So here we have a end zone 30, and that is something that is not red. So uh, from experience, what has happened with me uh, when I was driving the Autopilot 1 is that it only recognizes the, the speed limit signs with the red circle, mm -hmm. which means that if you're passing a truck which on the back has this 60, 80, 90 oh speed dear. limit oh, signs. Oh no. Oh yes, no. it actually oh sometimes no. read that as a speed limit sign. Mm. And in that case, it is a very good thing that it's not adjusting to that speed limit, yeah. uh, as we saw earlier in the, in the, in the test. Um, because then it would just slam on the brakes uh, in, in the middle of the highway, uh, which would not be a good thing. So in that perspective, yeah. it's better that it reacts the way uh, autopilot 2 reacts currently but it is more capable of showing you the correct speed limit in case of roadworks or a change in that's, road conditions that's good to know absolutely that's new to me <laughs> yeah. okay so that was our uh, first test with autopilot 1 let's do the same tests with autopilot 2 so we get a comparison in the same circumstances Right, round two. So now we are in the uh, P100D. Yes. And uh, let's see how quickly it reacts to the change in speed limit. So 50 here. Automatically reduces, so that's a little bit faster than what the Autopilot 1 does, but it's only based on GPS that this one is doing it. Next up the Hillcrest so first it needs to accelerate to 70 because we continually stayed on autopilot um, so let's see how quickly it does that past the sign here uh, with the red stripe so 70 it accelerates to 70 and then we'll see how stable it is uh, at the top of the hill so watch the lines here how it reacts so just dead on no problem. No problem. and here you see that the lines are shifting a little bit yeah. but yeah, the see. car is still going straight on yeah. I could so go. it reacts a little bit different than autopilot 2 but the, beha the resulting behavior is exactly the same so it's going straight on without any problem Absolutely. same here top of the hill no movement whatsoever So that's uh, on par with Autopilot 1. Here it reacts to the car, it breaks a little bit um, and the car was still quite a bit ahead uh, but we still need to test that with the two cars when somebody changes lanes. The lane is wider. The lane is wider here as well, yes. Um, let's see what it does uh, on the next section where the lanes are actually narrower because here the, the lane is quite wide at this point. Second test point, um, so Autopilot 1 went straight on without any issues. You saw the line disappear a little bit left right. Uh, at the top of the hill there as well you saw the line disappearing where Autopilot 2 was uh, going straight on. So here you see that it shifts a little bit because 
of the lane being wider and then it's coming together there but the car is still reacting by going straight on second, second lane um, we don't see a second lane yep. uh, because we are not able to do yeah, an auto lane shift of course right so it doesn't work on secondary roads it only works on highways right yep. um, and indeed you were right uh, the lane is depicted much wider isn't it uh, than it is on autopilot one that's so that's right. also a difference yeah yeah Definitely. Right, so I'm leaving some room to make sure that I can get through the corner without being slowed down by the vehicle in front of me. But here we are at the dreaded right and left turn. So let's get up to 70, hands on steering wheel to intervene in case a car should come the other way. Uh, let's see what it does. So it's going over the line, it's braking, it's tucking itself back into the line, but oh, barely, oh, 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 barely. Um, so I had to really intervene there. Yeah. Um, so Autopilot 2 is definitely not capable of handling that with any kind of confidence. And breathe. And breathe, yes. <laughs> so your diaper's full now? Huh? Yeah, yeah, just uh, <laughs> take me home now. Right, so uh, next section, auto lane change. Okay, time to test the auto lane change. So we're more or less at the same speed as with the previous test. So now I'm going to change lanes. Let's see how fast it accelerates. Yeah, now it does the acceleration as well, but not, not as, as uh, quickly. So it's going a little bit slower, but um, the problem is more when you uh, come up to a truck, you yeah. decelerate. Yeah to match the speed and then when you go that it keeps decelerating to match the speed at that point so we, we need a slower car we need a slower car yes <laughs> yeah. so find a slower car well there's a, there's uh, a caravan person. yeah that's one yeah uh, it's still no it's too fast no 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 oh. we're going to slow down oh the, the caravan yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I see it so but there's a car next to me of course so we are starting to slow down and now when I activate the lane change, we go. it keeps slowing down until we clear the lane. And then you also see when the car disappears from the dash, then it starts accelerating. Actually, we haven't tested that situation with the, with the autopilot one, but... Mm, it's not too bad. Yeah, no, it's not too bad, but you expect um, a fluid movement. Like the first one, you expect to accelerate a little yeah, bit sure. because you're merging into faster traffic sure, at sure. that point. Yeah. Now we weren't recording at this point, but I wanted to show something striking, so I took some dashcam footage to show you. And that is that as I'm about to move to the left lane of this road, then the car that's in front of me at that point is going uh, left into another lane to turn left. Uh, at the traffic light and even though it's completely cleared my lane the uh, Tesla is still braking really hard even though the dash didn't show that car as well at that point so that's uh, really strange that it brakes up ahead there's the uh, tight left and right which autopilot 2 was not capable of tackling uh, autopilot 1 sorry let's see what autopilot 2 is doing on autopilot. Ah, oh, damn you. Yep, it's it's doing that a lot better. A lot smoother. Yeah. Well, it's doing that while autopilot one was not doing that, but yeah. um, it is smooth, but it is still very close to the curb to do that. So it takes uh, yeah. steel nerves yeah. to uh, also balls of steel to uh, actually trust in that, uh, oh, yeah. which is why I usually do that part manually, uh, exactly. just not to trust it. Yeah, autopilot one nearly killed me. <laughs> That's a t-shirt. Nearly, yeah. <laughs> so uh, up ahead here, uh, after the turn, you have that section where uh, I can only drive 30, so zone 30. And we're not seeing that appearing on the dash. So uh, Autopilot 2 still thinks I can do 50 here. Um, so yeah, but it's, uh, it's a 30 uh, kilometer an hour zone, um, which ends here because of a school that's uh, that's there. Yep. 
So what can we conclude from uh, this test? So first of all, Autopilot 1 is in most cases still better than Autopilot 2 yep. because you have the lane change, mm -hmm. um, because you have the reading of the, the, the speed signs. Yep. Right? And uh, it was handling that tight right left turn, uh, that S turn, uh, a lot better than Autopilot 2 was doing. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, the lane shift that we just saw is something that Autopilot 2 is a lot better at, uh, at handling. So that's a point for, uh, for Autopilot 2, of course. But in general, I think uh, Autopilot 1 is still a lot more confidence inspiring than Autopilot 2 is doing. Yeah, I concur. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> so Philip is happy that he's uh, bought an Autopilot 1 car yeah. for now. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like my channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you are notified of any new videos as they are published. Also if you are looking at buying a new or inventory Tesla Model S or X you can always use my referral code to get free supercharging for as long as you have the car so that's a nice bonus. But for now thanks for watching see you guys next time bye bye.